Hi there everyone, uh, I am Magnus and welcome to my channel. Okay, so now before I get started into the main content of this video, I want to say that this is indeed my first video and it should be the first of many more to come. Um, and with that I just wanted to give a quick acknowledgement to some people. There have been some people out there who have pushed me and encouraged me and supported me in every possible way and every step of the way into creating this channel and to um, doing these videos. And to those people, I just want you to know that it means the world to me what you've done for me and the support you've given me. And for how minimal this may sound, I just want to say thank you. Um, now, with that out of the way, um, the reason I actually created this channel, um, there are two major reasons. Um, the first reason why I created this channel was to provide and teach people um, information that, in my personal opinion, is extremely important to anyone starting their magical path. Um, basically, I say this because of personal experience. I've had years um, practicing magic and witchcraft, and there's a lot of information that tends to be lacking for one reason or another. And so um, I hope that I can make this information a little more available to people. Um, I guess my main goal is to kind of teach witchcraft um, in a way that I wish it would have been taught to me, you know, if that makes any sense. Now, the second reason I created this channel was to dispel the multitude of misconceptions um, about witchcraft and other magical practices, which, by the way, there are a bazillion misconceptions, okay? Um, and speaking of which, uh, I will be bringing some of these misconceptions up from time to time in certain videos, especially when the contents of that video uh, corresponds or happens to pertain directly to a particular misconception, but as a whole, I will end up be doing a full-length video on several of the misconceptions revolving, revolving around the, you heard that right, I couldn't even say the word, <laughs> but anyway, revolving around uh, mag magical practitioners of various types. So um, I'm not sure when that video will be coming out. Um, it should be soon, hopefully soon, but um, it will be happening, okay? So on that note, I actually have three purposes on why I created this video, this particular video. The first purpose in the video is to um, explain why I created the channel. The second purpose in the video is to basically explain the reasoning behind the order of which the videos will be released. God, I could not get that out for the life of me. Basically, it's to tell you the order, to explain the, why I'm putting the, the videos out in a particular order. Um, the third reason in me posting this video is to, well, start with the teaching, you know? I mean, you can't have a video about teaching if you're not going to be teaching anything. So, um, with that, I will move on to the purposes of the video. First, the um, reason why I created the channel. I've already explained that. Second, um, the order in which I'm releasing the videos. So, basically, I have a list of categories, right? In each of these categories, there are certain lessons underneath. Uh, well, I say underneath because I have them written down on paper. So I have a category written down. And I have certain lessons underneath. And each lesson will be to broaden the information, broaden the knowledge um, 
month for that particular category. Now, after you finish with the category, you know, you finish with the whole category with all the lessons, then you move on to the next category, go down to lessons, and so on and so forth. Now, um, basically that's just how I'm going to be doing the videos. I think, to me, it'll help me stay a little more focused. If you haven't noticed, I tend to ramble and get a little scatterbrained, and my thoughts sometimes go, uh -huh. And I forget what I'm saying or what I'm doing or kind of where I'm at in the middle of a sentence or just something, you know, squirrel, um, that kind of thing. So um, bear with me. But I do want to say that um, I have not had any academical training, academical, academic, whatever. I've not had any um, actual education of any kind um, through a school, per se on this subject. Uh, all the information that I am providing, that I'm putting in here, has been information that I've learned over the years through my own personal research, through my own personal um, endeavors into knowledge, because uh, I love learning. Um, I hate school, but I love learning. So, yeah, strange combination. But anyway, um, so I do want to make it a point that I've not had any official training. So the information that I am putting out is my beliefs, my personal experience, my personal um, perception of things. So um, if you don't agree with it, that's okay. I, I, I don't, you know, have a problem with that. I mean, that's all right to each their own. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to put out some of this information because some of the information out there says you have to go a particular way or you have to go that way and or you have to be this or you have to be that and it's so aggravating. So I definitely wanted to, um, yeah, put out some of this information and let people figure it out for themselves, you know. Um, now that you kind of understand how I'm going to be doing the videos, how they're going to be coming out in whatever kind of order, um, I would like to talk about the main, I guess, point or the main content for this video, which will be the first general category that we'll be discussing or that we'll be going over, and the first lesson in that category. So the first um, category that we will be going over is the basics. Yes, I know, how redundant, how whatever you want to call it, okay? But um, basics are just that. They're the basics. They're what you need to start whatever it is you're doing. You need to have a basic understanding of it. So in this category of basics, um, the first lesson we are going to be talking about is what is witchcraft and what is magic? I think it's two very... Um, Two ideas, two, two thoughts, two definitions, two things that have such extremities, such extreme variations, it's ridiculous, okay? So the um, definitions that I'm going to be giving are, are basics, are generics into witchcraft, into magical practices, into the craft, okay? So before I begin with that lesson, um, I actually want to say something um, that may help, may hinder, may question, may make you dislike me, um, which is okay too. But I want to say something that I think that, like I said, it might actually help. It did help me in several ways in uh, some of my practices, so hopefully it can help you. It's going on a teeny, teeny, tiny scientific level. So, um, energy is discussed a lot in magic and witchcraft, like all the time. It is one of the main things you will hear about or need to, to know about in magic and witchcraft. Energy is in everything. And when I say everything, <clears throat> I mean everything. From any inanimate object you can think of, from, uh, a tree to a stone to a feather you know it's got energy in it okay the moon the sun the stars the solar system it's got energy in it water it's got energy in it anything that's 
animate, any animate being, okay, any person, any animal, any microbe, any living organism has energy to it, okay? Energy exists everywhere around us, okay? It exists in planes and dimensions that we can't see, but some people are sensitive enough they can feel that energy there. So this energy is one of the foundations in doing magic and witchcraft. That energy is something that is a necessity in, in magic and witchcraft. And to know that even on a scientific level, that that energy actually does exist, like even though before I knew that, I had full beliefs in what I was doing, you know? I had full belief in my practice. I had full faith in it. But then, hearing that and learning that and understanding that, to me, that just solidified it even more that I knew these energies already existed. I could feel these energies already existed. So it was definitely an overwhelming sensation of, heck yeah, man, you know? Like, it was awesome. So, um, I just wanted to put that information out there so you will understand whenever I talk about energy and stuff like that, you will understand kind of what I mean by energy. Now, um, with all of that being said, um, what is magic? This is a very uh, basic different definition of magic. Magic is the use of energy, whether it be from deities, whether it be from spirits, whether it be from herbs and candles, and whether it be from um, crystals. Sorry, definitely had a brain fart there. Like my mind just was gone for a second. Um, but um, whether it be from crystals, whether it be from ancestors, elementals, the, the sun, the moon, from yourself, from the earth, whether, whether, where, where, gosh, man, what is me and speaking today, wherever you get that energy from, there we go. I think I got it this time. So wherever you get that energy from, it's putting that energy into an intention or working to create a physical response or a physical change. So basically you're taking energy like i said whether wherever it's from you're taking that energy and you're pushing it into an intention or into a working and that energy you're actually creating a physical reaction in the physical world you know you're creating a physical change so that is more or less the definition of magic okay it does vary i guess from person to person and there might be a lot better um, uh, Webster's Dictionary version of it or something, I'm not sure, but um, that is the basics. So now, what is witchcraft? This one is a little more um, difficult to answer in a precise way, in a very precision way. So witchcraft basically is the practice of magic, okay, period. That's very simple. Pra witchcraft is the practice of magic. Now, to go in depth a little bit more about it, witchcraft is not a religion. It is not religion-based at all, okay? That aspect of it varies from culture to culture, from uh, different regions, different societies have different ways they practice witchcraft. Some of them have religion attached to their practice. Some of them don't. Um, Witchcraft has existed long before most religions existed. So um, it, it is definitely not a religion. It's not religion-based. A lot of that came from um, uh, Wicca. Okay, just put it out there. It came from Wicca. Wicca is a religion based off of witchcraft. Um, it's certain varieties and versions of it. It started over in Europe, Britain. Um, they did, it did come over to the States eventually, and so basically it was kind of created or gained popularity around like the 1950s, and then after that, um, I'll probably say around the 1970-ish, um, that 
that's when a lot of books started getting popular, a lot of books started getting published on witchcraft and Wicca. And during this time frame, the two terms, Wicca and witchcraft, started becoming interchangeable. And so you have a lot of these books which are influenced by Wiccan beliefs. And now, um, unfortunately, um, that's where a lot of some certain misconceptions, even within the, within the magical community, come from. Because people read these books, especially beginners and newbies or whatever you want to call yourselves, um, they read these books and they see this information. They're like, oh, well, you have to believe in this and you have to believe in that. They're like, well, that's not what, but wait, huh? You know, they get confused. Well, this is why they're confused. Um, so a lot of these books still have great information. If you can work around the Wiccan aspect, unless that is the path you're wanting to take, which by all means do. I am not going to influence you one way or the other. Uh, again, I am going to discuss uh, things about witchcraft and magic that have nothing to do with the religious aspect of it, but by all means, you can attach your craft, your practice, into your spiritual beliefs. Even if you're Christian, don't let someone tell you otherwise. There are plenty of Christian witches out there. I know a couple of them, and they are amazing people, and it is amazing the things they can do with their faith and their belief in Christianity and putting that into the craft and vice versa. It is beautiful, okay? So, um, witchcraft varies um, somewhat because of that. And also, again, I, I can't reiterate enough that it varies because of regions and certain societies and cultures and things like that. So, whenever you go to do, um, do research on witchcraft, um, be aware, there are a multitude of um, paths out there in witchcraft. Some have religious aspects attached to them, some do not. Um, but regardless, don't let those deter you. Actually, I believe that it's great to get your hands out there and all the little honeypots and get all these little books, you know, and all this information and read it all. Take it all in. And what you can do is you can actually start figuring out your own pathway by doing this. Um, I think too many people um, get overwhelmed with all this information that's out there. Just remember, you will never, ever know everything about the craft. Ever. Okay? There's so many aspects of it. Like, I can't even go into it all right now because, I mean, you see that I tend to ramble enough as it is. Like, this video would be... Just ridiculously crazy long okay so I'm not going into it that's the reason or another reason why I decided to break down my videos into categories and lessons because otherwise whew, they could go on for quite a while so I hope that this video has been somewhat enlightening and informative to someone out there I um, most of my videos I plan on keeping them fairly short, though I don't make any promises because, like I said for I think the third or fourth time now, I tend to talk a lot, tend to ramble, sometimes I get off subject, um, and I forget what I'm talking about, or forget what I'm saying in the middle of the sentence, and sometimes I remember them, sometimes I don't. So, um, you will get to see all the good and bad of me. Um, hope that's a good thing. <laughs> But anyway, um, so I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I know it was a little wobbly here and there, and I know the quality and editing may not be the best, but it will get there, I promise. Um, currently, I will be doing one video per week. I do plan on doing more videos than that. Um, it does go back to the quality of the equipment and stuff that I'm using. Um, it's just going to take longer for me to do this stuff. And I'm fairly new at it, so um, just bear with me. Um, the videos will be out. So if you liked this video by chance, feel free to give a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I promise to um, not ramble too awfully much and make myself look like too much of an idiot, though. Um, I Thank you all again for sticking around, and um, please, please, please take care, be safe, and always, always.
always <laughs>